Bit You've been part of grand final winning teams. Can you explain what it's like running out to meet your players? Oh, mate, I couldn't get down those stairs quick enough and I thought I was going to fall over. Um, it's an amazing feeling, you know, you know the, obviously the first the club's first premiership. Um, it's just an amazing feeling. This could take forever to get around this field. What about the people, mate? The whole of the Shire has shone tonight. Yeah, it has, mate. You know, I saw how much it means to people when I come down to the side. I saw Reed too, you know, he was... His eyes were full of tears, you know. He was a great player, wasn't good enough to win one. And, you know, you know we do it for, uh, tonight. I know Gal said, you know, we did it for all the ex-players. It's just amazing. You know, when, what the shy has done over the last week, all right, you know, really over the whole year, it just gives, it's uplifting about how strong a community can be, mate. It was just, um, you know, unbelievable. At 8 mil at half time, do you think that was going to be enough? No, nah, not against the Storm. You know, Cameron Smith and Cooper Cronk. I knew they'd come back at us, but um, we just showed how tough we were and resilient, and Andrew got that try for us. And yeah, what about that try? Yeah, well, that was unreal, but what about that last set? I nearly went through the last box there. Um, you know, just someone make a tackle, and it took, seemed about 10 passes in it, and no one could tackle him, but we finally got it done. Oh, you're now a premiership winning coach, mate. Well done. Thanks, Freddie. Lock you over to you, mate. Yeah, here with Jack Bird. How good is this, mate? Mate, it's unbelievable. You know, words can't describe how happy I am. I want to cry, but I can't. I'm just so happy, mate. The boys stuck in there, and you know, I got, I got scared. To be honest, I got scared at the last few seconds there, but you know, the boys dug in deep, and we got the win. Talk about being scared at the end. Did you think your night was over when you hurt your elbow? Oh, mate, nothing's gonna ruin my night, mate. I mean, I thought it was broken, to be honest, and I was gonna just keep playing. You know, nothing stopped me playing the grand final. I'll do anything for these boys, and you know, I just had to stick st strong and um, stick stick to it, and. Mate, I was thinking about coming off, but I just didn't want to. It seemed like said the first 10 minutes you were really struggling, but it got it got better as the game wore on. Yeah, at half time I went in there and um, put some uh, in, in, anesthetic, I think it was, in, in me uh, in me elbow and um, it numbed it up. I still can't feel it. It, it hurts to straighten it, but yeah, yeah, mate, there was nothing stopping me coming off. You had a bit of a duel with uh, Will Chambers tonight. How was that? Yeah, mate, it was good. You know, Will's a great player and. Uh, I guess it's just him competing and, and me competing as well and you know I'll do anything to win for the boys and um, you know I think it was just a, a tackle he did over there and I got a little bit angry he pushed me in the face so I pushed him back mate and nothing's too serious and mate it was just the competitiveness what he what he wanted and mate it's just the game I guess. Well mate you got a you got a grand final ring now. Go and enjoy it with your fans. Thanks Lockie, thanks mate. Well done. Thanks, mate. Over to you Joey. Thanks. Jimmy Lowry, Jimmy, how does this feel? Yeah, mate, it's, it's special. Look, there's a few guys, mate, in this team who have had some pretty stellar careers. Mick, Mick's going out on this, you know. It's it's a fitting tribute. And, mate, a bloke like Gal who's, who's done everything in the game and to help him get this, mate, it's, it's awesome. You've only been to the Sharks for one year. Special club, special special spot, the Shire. It is, mate. They'll be, they'll be going nuts down there, mate. You, should be a big couple of days. <laughs> tell me about the moving down there. Tell, tell me about the club. What's it mean to you after one year? Mate, it's good. Like, as soon as I got down there, they were welcoming me right from the start. I knew the, I knew the success was going to be there. I knew, knew the blokes they had. and We've worked really hard, mate, since November. They, they don't come easy. And they just, that's stoked that we got it. Half time, you said to Brad Fittler, see us to lose. Were you worried you're only, only, only 8 mil up with all that possession? Not really. Uh, we knew Melbourne was such a good defensive side, you know, and you know, I suppose when they went in front, there was a few boys, you know, heads didn't know what was going on, and we said, you know, mate, this is grand finals, they don't come easy. This is where we make it, and mate, our boys, they turned up as they have all year, and we got the job done, and mate, to the last second, we had to we had to scramble, and mate, we just got there. Well, mate, do you know where Northies is? It's waiting for you. I'll be there. I <laughs> know. Oh, well done, buddy. Over you, Freddie. Yeah, one bloke will be at the front of the bar, Wade Graham. How was that, mate? Hey, yeah, what about him, mate? There's nothing better than that, Freddie. There's nothing better. What about Big Fafita going over under the post? Oh, mate, what a try. What an effort, mate. That's, that's the type of stuff he can do, mate. He's a freaky athlete. 180 kilos, and he does that sort of stuff, mate. It's, I can't tell you how good it feels. It's, that, it's brilliant, mate. It's brilliant. How, but how's the shy been the last week? Mate, I... You know what, I was nervous all day and um, had the butterflies and then when we jumped on the bus heading out of Cronulla, there was people on the street cheering us on and I just it made me feel good and the support's been unbelievable and mate, after 50 years, mate, we're taking it home with us.
How was it chasing Melbourne around for the last couple of minutes? Oh, mate, it was out on our feet, but the boys just kept showing up, and mate, that's what it took to get the win, so couldn't have won it in a better fashion. All right, well done, mate. It was absolutely outstanding. Back good. to Northies. <laughs> Back to Northies, mate. Right on, Lockie. Yeah, here with Chad Townsend. Does it get any better? Mate, it doesn't, you know. Uh, 50 years this club's been waiting for it, and to be a part of the, the first team to bring one home, it's something I'll never, I'll never forget in my life. 8 nil up, you needed to get away to a good start, and you did tonight. Yeah, that was what we focused on all week, you know. We, we knew that the Storm weren't going to beat themselves. That they're a quality team, they've been quality for a number. You know, we're able to hang in there in the end and, and um, you know, come away with it. Yeah, hung in there just. But geez, you showed some character. Yeah, uh, we knew they were going to come at us right to the 80th minute and, um, you know, the boys made some special efforts and, and they're the, the types of stuff that get your premierships. And tonight, you know, it's going to be party time in the Shire and I can't wait to get back there and, and celebrate with all the fans. You know, I mean, you look at the game down in Canberra, you know, but you bounced back last week. It's just a... A turnaround for yourself, but how good is it? Yeah, oh, massive. You know, the boys, you know, it was never about me. It was always about the team. And we got the result. We moved on. And uh, then we got another good result in, against North Queensland. And, um, you know, we turned up today and put one of our best performances and, and completion rate to the year. And we knew we had to do that against the Storm. They give you nothing. And, um, you know, to come away with a win, I just, I'm super stoked. Mate, this is one of the best moments in your life. Go and enjoy it. Thanks, Lockie. Appreciate it. Have you, Joey? Yeah, with Benny Marble. Benny, how's this? Oh, Joey, you know how it feels. It's an unbelievable feeling. Um, to, to go all this way through the year, you don't want to lose on, on a day like today. And there's obviously got one, one got to be one loser, and, and unlucky to Melbourne today. But, mate, this is unreal. I, I can't believe it, mate. All this, some of these people have waited so long for, for this to happen, and I'm glad we could deliver tonight. What about you personally? 2012, you got to a premiership, you won a Dally M, you were here. And you lost your way. Now you're back there. Tell us, what's it mean to you personally? Did you think you'd get here? Mate, uh, oh, look, mate, I thought I was gone. Uh, I, I was going to, I even, I contemplated walking away because I... ...up with my teammates and not playing to my potential, but look, mate, a credit to these little girls that I got behind me, my other two with my partner, Ainsley. The family, the club was sticking beside me, mate, and, 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 and sticking with me even after the last year and believing in me and giving me the chance to, to start here. And, mate, oh, I'm just sorry if I can pay him back with one of these tonight. Good on you, mate. I'm sure everyone's proud of you. Thank you, Joey. Have Thanks, you, mate. Thank Have you, Freddy. Right, I got Chris Hornington. You ready? No swearing. Oh, mate, it's out. That was the greatest ever, mate. Um, you know, not all superheroes wear capes, mate. There's a lot of a lot of blue jerseys out there who are actually superheroes who put in a great performance. I was that nervous near the end, but we got it done. Look at the crowd. Have a look at it. Mate, they'll be going off the head. All me brothers, all me mates just sitting up there. It's unreal. Mate, this, I thought the first time was good. Second time, it's <laughs> just as good. I tell you, this, this is this is why you play the game. It's, it's a dream. You're talking about superheroes, what about Jack Bird playing through after nearly breaking his elbow? Mate, he's a star, I love him, mate. He, he sits next to me in the locker room, nothing fades him. Nothing? Nothing. What about for Peter's try? Oh, unreal, mate. He was a big, he performed real well for us. He was outrageous. Up, up, Grunella! Over to you, Bonnie! <laughs> Thank you, Brad. Just some of the characters that go into this incredible Cronulla Sharks team uh, down there just soaking up every single second, as we've mentioned, has been a very long wait, sometimes a lifetime for some of these fans, and uh, the players deserve every moment. Wally Lewis and Peter Sterling, just incredible. When we talk about the characters, this team was on the bones of the club a couple of seasons ago. They were wooden spooners and by a long way. And here they are, they've turned it around, and yes, they haven't been perfect, but this is their moment in history. It is. The bad times make the good times exactly that. And they recruited very, very well. And a couple of key players have come from other clubs in recent times and done a great job for them. Two wonderful showings of willpower tonight. Luke Lewis not reaching out for the double movement. And Chris Hyington not dropping a swear word there. <laughs> <laughs> he felt close, though. He oh, was a yeah. bit zippy. <laughs> but it was a phenomenal night. A brilliant game. Really tough, witty contest. Two tries apiece went right down to the wire. You know, we've been blessed with our grand finals of late last year. North Queensland getting their first ever title. These players tonight will not achieve anything more in their careers. 
And when I say that, you know, they, they may go on and represent their country and, and their state, as many have done. But to win a title at a club for the first ever time is unbelievably special. You can never do it again. And to wait 50 years, I had to wait, well, Parramatta fans had to wait 34 years. We saw North Queensland have to wait 20 years last. 50 years? That is something. Good, good luck to them. Just extraordinary. Wally, where does that performance rate for you? Oh, magnificent. Um, you have a look at some of the, the grand final performances that we've had in recent years, particularly last year's. Um, that was hard to, hard to live up to. But tonight's performance, that was as physical and as fast as I can remember for, for many decades. That was a sensational performance from the Sharkies. They just kept going, rely, relying upon each other. And just when it got to the final play of the match, that was going to be the difference between just how badly these guys wanted to secure their first premiership. Well, they went out on a limb. They busted a butt to get there and they made sure every player gave his all. And if Will Chambers looks inside and finds Cooper Plant, Cooper Gold, yeah. they're looking at possibly a different result. Outstanding way for Michael Ennis to leave our game. He joins some absolute greats in achieving this in, in their final match. The likes of Shane Webke, uh, Mick Crane and Ray Price, Roy Simmons. Uh, he sees a pretty elite company there. And congratulations also to Luke Lewis, five Churchill medal winner tonight. Uh, I think it's an outstanding decision. Um, he won a grand final 2003 with Penrith. He was a gangly winger. <laughs> well, tonight he was a barnstorming back rower, and I thought he was. He summed them up tonight. He was just relentless in his pursuit of excellence, and and um, I, I think a just reward, reward for him. Although very tough to pick out a man of the match out of what we saw tonight. Yeah, I agree with that one, Peter. That must have been almost a toss of the coin affair. I thought James Maloney was sensational. He came up with two or three runs that actually busted the Storm's defence to provide try scoring opportunities. But they didn't have a bad player. You know, we, uh, we like to play this compliment to uh, grand final winning teams, but neither did the losing team. There wasn't a bad player on the football field tonight. This was one of the classic grand finals. They were magnificent tonight, Melbourne. Ooh. They should not have been in that contest, but we've come to expect that from this Melbourne Storm side who have just been so good over the last 10, 15 years under Craig Bellamy. And I think the speech at the end of it from Cameron Smith was graciousness personified. And again... That's not surprising. Yeah, it was all class from the Storm captain. Let's head down to Brad Fittler. He is with tonight's best. Yeah, we're just talking about how hard he's going to hear each other. It's just noise. They are very excited people. Luke Lewis, you are a man of the match. Hey, thanks very much, Brody. I, I can't believe it, but uh, if it weren't for this team, I don't want to be able to hold this. So, hey, look, it's been a, it's the greatest night of my life. I can't believe it. Words don't describe it at the moment. 13 years between your last grand final, you won with Penrith in 2003. Is there a difference? Can you feel a difference? Uh, I think for me now, I understand what it takes to get here and you know, how much, what, it, what sort of process it is to get here and how much has to fall in, into line to, you know, to win tonight. And um, yeah, look, I'll be taking a lot more in this year and compared to last time I did it, but uh, mate, it, it's the yeah, best, best night of my life. Number one, baby. Yeah, boy. <laughs> I don't know how much strength did it take not to reach out with that ball as you're sliding under the post. Yeah, mate, I thought about it so much, but I thought, yeah, I didn't want to give a penalty away. I thought we could get it next play, but, um, yeah, look, I was very tempted, but I'm glad I didn't. There's plenty of heroes. The bloke had just popped in Valentine Holmes. How good is he? Mate, he's a superstar. Him and, him and Bertie, Becky and uh, Ricky, mate, they've done a lot of work for us this year, and... If it weren't for those guys, the way that they played, we wouldn't be we wouldn't be in a winner's circle at the moment. Right, you got a charity, mate, thousand dollars. Yeah, look, uh, thanks very much to VB, and I'd love to donate this to uh, Zambi Wildlife. All right, outstanding, mate, Clive Churchill, thousand buck donation. You're a winner. Thanks very much, Freddie, and thanks to everyone, and uh, thanks to all those Granola supporters. And see you back home. Cheers. Over to you, Lucky. Here with club legend Andrew Reddinghouse. Have you ever seen Sharks fans so happy? Oh, it's amazing, Lockie. Just have a look behind me here. They're still here and the boys are wandering around the field and, uh, wow, what a day. This is just amazing for all Sharks fans and, of course, the team that just played so well this year. I mean, coming to the stadium tonight, have you ever seen an atmosphere like that for a club game? It's just like Shark Park by 10. There's so many Cronulla supporters here. Just about everybody had a, a real strong belief this year that they... You know, the team was such a, a good team, quality team all the way through. Couldn't see a weakness, so we're expecting big things and the boys produced. Yeah, considering where they were a couple of years ago, outstanding. Yeah, that's it. I mean, they've really climbed out of a pretty tough old spot a couple of years ago. And, uh, you know, all credit to Shane Flanagan, Gal and all the boys to really, uh, 
you know, put a, put a win like this together is not an easy thing, as you know, so they've done an incredible job in a few years. It's an emotional moment for a lot of people, the players, the club, the fans, ex-players. And it was said that it was tears shed after the game. Oh, yeah, no, there was a few tears rolling around down from my eyes, I can tell you. It's been such a long time coming and, you know, we've, uh, everyone's tried. I mean, I played 18 years at the game and, and uh, got there a few times, never got close enough to win and hold that trophy up and the boys have finally done it. So, wow, you know, it's a relief off our shoulders, but, yeah, bigger and better things to come. It's a special moment, Garrett Joy. Yeah, cheers, Lucky.